Probably one of the most common questions that I get is both a professional archer and a hunter that shoots a bow a ton is how to deal with target panic. Target panic is one of those things to where if you've shot a bow long enough, you've dealt with it. For those of you that may not know, target panic is when you can't control the ability and the instinct to shoot as soon as your pin or your sight gets on the target. You're not taking your time aiming and that sort of thing. So it's really a matter of patience is what it is. You're not being patient enough to let the pin settle, to aim, let your body, your mind, and your eyes do the job that it needs to do to aim better. No matter how good of an archer you are, no matter how good of an archer you hope to be, probably eventually you're gonna deal with this. On the tournament side, most of the time we'll swap over to a back tension release, which is a hinge style release. I shoot Scott stuff, so I'm shooting a Scott Longhorn Pro, and it has no trigger. It simply goes off by rotation. Well, that's not necessarily practical in the woods. So what I really recommend is doing this practice I'm about to show you to help you get out of target panic. And I'm just gonna kind of walk you through it step by step, okay? So the first thing you do is get close to a target, okay? I've got a target right here, three or four yards from me. Draw back, and this is a good time to always bring out this other point when you're shooting down like we are always from a tree stand, bend at the waist. What I do is I try to wrap this finger on the trigger, my index finger. I'm not up here like this. I don't have my finger off of it. I lay my finger on it. And I'm squeezing with my back muscles to make the shot go off, okay? That's the proper way to shoot. I'm gonna just shoot a shot here so you can see how it's done. Squeezing, pulling with my back, fired okay that's just how i'd shoot any shot whether at a target at a deer etc the whole time my mind is thinking nothing but aim if your mind is thinking anything besides aim 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 you're thinking about the wrong stuff or you're dealing with target panic so if you are dealing with target panic here's my recommendation same thing you draw back stand really close to a target remember these keys wrap your finger on the trigger. Don't wind up and come to it and slap it. You're just applying pressure, pulling with your back muscles. Here's how I recommend getting rid of target panic. Make sure you're on the target. Now close your eyes. With your eyes completely closed, you feel how the shot goes. And you squeeze, 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 till the air is released. Stand close enough you feel comfortable with doing that to the target. The cool thing about using that technique is you don't have to have a lot of room to, to do it. So all you have to do, once again, draw back, anchor in, bend at the waist, close your eyes. Concentrate on making a good shot. What that's gonna do is teach your body the muscle memory to make a proper shot. The other side of that to dealing with target panic is this let down. Aim, 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 let down. Draw back. You're aiming on your target. Aim, aim, aim. You're thinking about nothing but aiming. You let down. You do that as many times as you blank bell shoot is what it's called when you shoot with your eyes closed. In combination of those two things right there, that's the best way that I can recommend to help you get out of target panic. Hey, for this and more videos, check them all out right here on wasparchery.com.